Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how you can create this Arduino home safety monitor to identify LPG leakage, temperature rise, ambient light, humidity and pressure of your home, especially the kitchen, and see the data in these interactive dashboards in real time. This will also allow you via SMS, mail or telegram if something goes wrong or if it detects any danger. You can access this dashboard and monitor your home from anywhere in the world. In this tutorial, I will share everything to make this one yourself. I will explain the circuit, share with you the PCB design and layout and the Arduino code. So subscribe to my channel and keep watching. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB manufacturer specializing in PCB prototyping, low volume production and neat and tidy PCB assembly. They deliver high quality PCB faster and cheaper. I will tell you more about them and will show you how to order PCBs from PCBWay in a minute. So let's get to know about UbiDots. UbiDot provides a simple and secure method for sending and receiving data to and from IoT devices using global cloud network in real time. UbiDots provide a firm platform for hobbyists, enthusiasts as well as professionals enabling them to easily retrieve and use sensor data around the world and turn it into something useful. We can use UbiDots platform to send various sensor values or other data to the cloud, store it there safely and retrieve them anytime we want using simple API calls. For this project, you will need Arduino Nano 33 IoT, BME 280, MQ2 gas sensor, an LDR and home safety monitor PCB. The reason why I chose this Arduino Nano 33 IoT is they are very small, pin-to-pin -pin compatible with Arduino Nano R3 and it even have an inbuilt Wi-Fi module which will come in handy. So let's get started. First, we will set up the PCB. Guys, I have designed a PCB layout where you can easily mount your Arduino Nano 33 IoT and your sensors, set this up without messy wires and cables hanging around. The board is lightweight and can be powered using 9V battery or a 9 to 12V power adapter. Here is the circuit diagram and the PCB layout. To order your PCB from PCBWay, go to PCBWay homepage and fill the board details in the instant order form. From there, you will be directed to a form where you can provide more elaborate board details and Gerber upload. Update your board requirement information in the PCB specification screen. You can change the board thickness, board color, silk color and even type of finish you want. Some of these add-ons are going to increase the board cost. Once you have set all the various options for your PCB selected, submit it for review. Before your board goes into manufacturing, their team of professional technicians will review your design for any potential errors. Once the review is completed, all that is left to do is add to cart, make payment and wait for your PCBs to arrive. It could take you anywhere between 3 to 6 days to be produced depending on the number of boards you ordered. Inside the box, you will find that envelope has a soft trap inside it. They also send us free perks like this pen along with the PCB. Also, the PCB is sealed inside a plastic wrap. This ensures that our PCBs don't get any physical damage during the transportation. Once you get all the components, it's time for you to solder them together. Solder all the components onto the board and make sure to check the polarity of the components before soldering. I personally find soldering on this kind of PCBs a fun task. Because of these pads, soldering is very easy. The solder takes up the conical shape and gets soldered from all the sides evenly. After soldering, the PCB looks like this. Now let us set up UbiDots. First go to this link and create a free account in UbiDots Education. Next we have to create a device. Since we are using Arduino for safety monitoring, let us name the device Home Safety Monitor. Here you can see I have already made this device. You can easily add a device by clicking this button. Now we will set up the variables. Click on the device you just created. Now it will show you all the variables which are linked to that device. Currently we have none. In this project we will need variables for storing and displaying the values of temperature, pressure, ambient light, LPG level and humidity. You can simply create variables like this and rename them. Now we will create some widgets that will give us a graphical representation of these variables. From the dashboard, click on add new widget. There you will see several type of widgets that you can assign to your variables. These widgets gives a visual representation of data that we will be collecting. 
simply follow the instructions on the screen. Guys, before going further, if you find this video useful, consider supporting my channel by giving this video a like and subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below. I would really appreciate it. In this project, we will be transmitting the data from our Arduino home safety monitor to the UBDOT server using UDP packets. Every packet requires a token. The easiest way to get yours is clicking on API credentials under your profile tab. The tokens are temporary and revocable keys that is to be embedded in all your API requests. Take a note of these parameters as we will be using it in the code. The device label, device ID, variable ID and token. Now we will look at the code. You will find the link of this code in the description. Before uploading, you will have to add a few things to the code. Here, you will have to provide the SSID and password of your Wi-Fi network. Here, you will have to enter the token, device name and the device ID. And here, you will have to add variable names for each variables. Now it's time to upload the code. So basically what this code do is, it will initialize serial communication and BME module. It will connect to a Wi-Fi network and obtain an IP address. Once it gets an IP address, it will start to read sensor values from the analog pins and store it into variables. Once we get the data, UDP packets are crafted in this form and are sent to UB.Dot server. These packets will be received by the UB.Dot server which extracts the values and will be stored in respective variables. These widgets provides a wonderful graphical representation of the data and will be displayed on the dashboard. Now for testing, power on the circuit and bring a light source or an LPG source close to the sensor board. You will find the graphs being changed in real time. You can access this dashboard and monitor your home from anywhere in the world. You will find all the codes, schematics and related links in my blog. You will find the link in the description. So check that out. If you are an Arduino enthusiast, you will surely like my 6 wheel drive off road crawler with suspension using Arduino. Click here to see the demo. Subscribe to my channel for more updates. Take care guys, see you next week.